Welcome back to a sun-kissed Ascot. We're going to preview race six, day two. This is the Kensington Palace Stakes, a high-quality Phillies handicap over a mile. And do bear in mind, this has now been switched to the straight mile. It used to be on the round mile as fans of number one, Villanova Queen. We'll recall because she swooped on the round mile last year. Adelaide's grrr. I back to last year. She got no run and finished fourth. Further down, Celsa Bila, a proven Ascot filly, twirling definitely on the upgrade. Likewise, the Godolphin filly, Summer of Love. Doha is putting the Royal in Royal Ascot. By see the stars out of the mighty Trev. Roaring success could be a roaring success based on recent form. And a sneaky one down towards the bottom, number 20, Elim is coming in here under the radar. Now, this is a tough puzzle, and it's a different track to last year, but Villanova Queen Simon, in this race 12 months ago, swooped to conquer. Yeah, swooped to conquer, travelled supremely well. I can't see that the, uh, the the different format of the race should be any kind of problem, and I think it's the uh, the return to handicaps, which is probably the key point for this horse. Yeah, I think she's in my minor numbers. I gave her an honourable mention for this race last year before she went on and won it. She was a big price that day. She's probably going to be a fairly big price again. She's just one pound higher than last year. Admittedly, her form hasn't had the strength to it that I'd have liked to have seen, but those are in different conditions. And I think some horses, they just change when they get in circum certain scenarios. And these circumstances are really going to play to Villanova Queen's strengths, I think. Back in handicap company, when you watch that video again, have a look at the filly who finished sixth. Far too shy, made a wild move from a way out west draw. She could be one to know at a big price here. Let's deal with some more video here. It's Mystic Pearl and Far Too Shy. Both ran well, went third and sixth in a handicap here in the springtime, Simon. Yeah, Far Too Shy is a, a, a gallant uh, mare, but I think he's, uh, he's pretty exposed these days. But I think Mystic Pearl could have a lot more to offer. Now, we see her running here over course and distance. She finished really well, I thought, in a race that just wasn't run to suit her. She wasn't really well placed throughout the race, but I thought it was a, a decent performance. She had a tongue tie on that day. That is retained, and she runs off the very same mark as well. So I think for the William Haggis team, always to be respected, should run a big race. I'm going to talk about roaring success. We've got her in good form here at Ascot. She is a pretty low mileage filly. She can be held up. She can make the running. She came home strongly here at Ascot in the spring, and she's since gone on to run a really good second at Nottingham behind another improver, Twirling, who's here also this week. So all sorts of possibilities here. Uh, I think we can mention one or two others before we move on to the numbers. Twirling did it well at Doncaster. Roea caught the eye at Newmarket. Elim is one I want to have a quick chat about. She's under the radar. And Doha, I know both of you have a sneaking fancy for this incredibly well-bred filly. Yeah, Doha, of course, out of the uh, majestic uh, dual art winning uh, filly Trev. Beautifully bred, perhaps the best bred horse on the card on the day. And uh, she's made some good strides. She won a Windsor Maiden back in October by nine lengths, won in commanding fashion, and uh, was beaten on the neck uh, at Haydock on reappearance on softish ground. I actually think the quicker conditions will suit her better. And uh, with that run under her girth, I think there's more to come. And your numbers, Simon, please? My numbers, well, it's number six, Doha, number 16 at Doha for me, uh, number eight, four, and two for the places. I'm in total agreement with Simon Doha. Loved her attitude last time. At one stage, it looked like she was going to get beaten. She fought back really well. That shows she's learning and she's still inexperienced. So I think she's definitely the one to keep on side here, given her pedigree promises improvement as she gets older. So it's number 16 on top for me, Doha, followed by 11, 7 and 1. I like a few of big prices here, and I think they'll all run well. 20, a limb is progressing really nicely. Her first run this season in a race that's working out nicely was very positive. 13, Roea was very progressive last summer. She caught the eye from a poor track position at Newmarket. 12, far too shy, is a bit frustrating, but she's more than capable of running well at a price. And number 17, Roaring Success, is on the upgrade. 20, Elim on top for me for the Kensington Palace.